Uh, the president of the United States also had a big speech. He's trying to win back the Hispanic vote. Here's a hint. I've never run for public office, but if you want to win over the Hispanic vote, you should call them the Hispanic caucus, if they are, or in fact the Hispanic caucus, as opposed to how we labeled them here. Watch. They echo what my dad taught me, and I mean this sincerely. My dad used to say, everyone, everyone is entitled to be treated with dignity and respect. The Congressional Black Caucus embodies all those values. Call uh, it the Black Caucus instead of the Hispanic. You think that's a problem, Lawrence? <laughs> I mean, it's part for the course right now with this president. Listen, I don't even care about his age. That's not the, the real question here. People age differently. All of our days are coming uh, pretty soon. Uh, some of us earlier than others. The fact of the matter is he can't do the job. And his greatest asset at one point of time was being the greatest retail politician there was, being elected at 30, being able to woe a crowd, <laughs> being able to bring the fundraisers in, and, and really was that guy, that rallying guy for Barack Obama. The, the fa fact of the matter is he can't do that anymore. And he's failing on every single issue, whether it's the economy, whether it's the border, right. whether it's just basic inflation things. And he just can't connect with the, me uh, the American people. Mm -hmm. So they can't send Kamala out to sell the vision. They can't send Buttigieg to send her. Who do the Democrats have? All they have right now to be their messenger is Gavin Newsom. And he's saying he's going to stand by and right. wait until Joe Biden is He's going to do all the campaigning. What a, what a yeah. mess the Democratic Party has. The right. surrogate are going to lead the way, it looks like. 77, according to the AP, 77% of Americans say President Biden is too old for a second term. That's, that includes 69% of Democrats. Well, how long are the Democrats going to play this game? Yeah, that, that's the big question from the uh, White House pooler on Wednesday night here in New York, a fellow by the name of Jonathan Lemire, who works for Politico. And he wrote these notes about a fundraiser that the president was at. He said, quote, after briefly touting his economic record, President Joe Biden reflected on his decision to seek the presidency. He told the story of the events of Charlottesville in 2017 as the reason for his campaign. Here's the part. A few minutes later, he told the same story again, nearly word for word. Also, while he was in town, uh, he, we showed you the video of where he was up on a podium and you got the president of Brazil. He's waiting to go ahead and shake hands with the president of Brazil, right over there, screen right, shakes hands with that guy, and Joe Biden just leaves. He didn't yeah. shake his hand. Right. And by the way, uh, Lula, who we put in office, who's a communist, who was yeah, yeah, mentored by Castro, that's reaction. a problematic enough. He also oh, couldn't handle the translator way. box. Uh, like it was a Walkman from 1978. So that looks that looked bad. He also had a problem yesterday in a speech theme. This is him working with the translator box. That's how he just sat there uh, and just trying to, I guess, get it out. Wasn't working. It was so distracting. Uh, meanwhile,